Today, we'll discuss the basics of linear inequalities, what happens when linear inequalities worked upon, when terms are shifted from one side to the other, etc. So if there are two numbers, A and B, and if A is less than B, then adding the same constant to both sides or subtracting the same constant from both sides does not affect the inequality. So A plus C would remain less than B plus C and A minus C would be less than B minus C. Now, if A and B are uh, defined by A less than B and C is a positive number, then multiplying C on both sides or dividing C by both sides does not affect the inequality. But if A is less than B and C is a negative number, then multiplying C on both sides or dividing C on both sides will change the sign of the inequality. From less than, it would become greater than, and from greater than, it would go to less than. This only happens when you are multiplying or dividing an inequality by a negative number. So for example, let's look at this one. 4n minus 9 greater than equal to 12 minus 3n. I bring minus 3n here and I take minus 9 to the right hand side. So 4n plus 3n should be greater than 12 plus 9. So 7n should be greater than 21. So n should be greater than 21 by 7, which means that n is greater than equal to 3. Option B. So here we were working either with addition subtraction or with division by positive number. So nowhere had we had to worry about the inequality sign. Okay, let's do the one on the right. If minus three plus n is less than equal to 25, what is the maximum value of four and minus 12? So I can say that uh, n minus three is less than equal to 25. So if I multiply both sides by four, which again is a positive number, so my inequality will remain the same. I get four n minus 12 is less than equal to 100. And that's exactly what I was asked. What is the maximum value of four n minus 12? It's going to be 100 because that number is less than equal to 100. Okay, let's also look at absolute value inequality. So if you look at modulus of x less than one, that means that x could be less than one or x could be greater than minus one. Think about it. If I take any number between minus one and zero, let's say minus 0.5, then the absolute value of minus 0.5 which is 0 0.5 is still less than one. So the absolute value inequality translates into two inequalities. One is just a repetition of the inequality without the absolute value sign. And the other is with the change of the sign and with the negative of the number on the right hand side. So this can be written as minus one is less than X is less than one. So for modulus x to be less than one, x should be between minus one and one. What about modulus of x greater than one? This could mean x greater than one or x less than negative one. So if you think about it, let's say negative three, modulus of negative three is three, which is greater than one. So here, x could be on uh, the side greater than one or less than minus one. So if I were to draw this on the number line, then between minus one and one, if I take X, then modulus of X will be less than one. If I take X greater than one, then modulus of X is greater than one. And if I take X less than minus one, then also the modulus of X is greater than one. So let's apply this on some questions. So let's say I have modulus of 2x minus three is less than equal to seven. So 2x minus three is less than equal to seven or 2x minus three greater than equal to negative seven, right? So 2x less than equal to 10. So x less than equal to five, that's one range. Or 
टू एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू माइनस फोर सो एक्स ग्रेटर देन इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो माइनस टू लेस देन इक्वल टू एक्स लेस देन इक्वल टू फाइव इज द सोल्यूशन सेट फॉर दिस इन इक्वालिटी okay let's do the next one modulus of n minus 4 greater than 3 this implies that n minus 4 could be greater than 3 or n minus 4 could be less than negative 3 right so you repeat the inequality as it is without the absolute value and the other one is when you change the sign and put a negative number on the right hand side so n is greater than 7 or n is less than One. So here, if this is my number line, then any number to the left hand side of one, and any number to the right hand side of seven will satisfy this inequality. Let's now do some sample problems. Which of the following uh, numbers is not a solution of the inequality? Three x minus five is greater than or equal to four x minus three. So I bring four x here and I take negative five here. So three x minus four x is greater than five minus three. So minus x is greater than two. Now I need to find x, which means I will have to multiply this inequality by negative one. So x will minus x will become x, and two will become negative two. And since I'm multiplying the inequality by a negative number. This greater than sign will change to less than sign. So x can be less than or equal to minus two. So x can be minus two, it can be minus three, it can be minus five, but it can't be minus one. So the one that is not a solution is option A. Okay. Next question. Alice, Bob, and Charlie were on a hike and were wondering how far away. The nearest town was. When Alice said, "We are at least six miles away," Bob replied, "We are at most five miles away." Charlie then said, "Actually, the nearest town is at most four miles away." It turned out that none of the three statements were true. If d is the distance in miles to the nearest town, which of the following intervals is the set of all possible values of d? So let's begin with what the three of them said. Right. So Alice said, "We are at least six miles away." So according to Alice, d was greater than equal to six, right? At least six. So it could be six or greater than six. Bob said, "We are at most five miles away," which means, according to Bob, the distance was less than equal to five. At most five, five or less. And Charlie says, "We are." At most four miles away. So according to Charlie, d was less than equal to four. But none of these statements were true. They were all false. So what is the opposite of d greater than equal to six? D has to be less than six. What is the opposite of d less than equal to five? D greater than five. And what is the opposite of d less than equal to four? D greater than four. So if this is four, this is five. And this is six. Then, according to Charlie, D has to be here. According to Bob, D has to be here. And according to uh, Alice, D has to be here. So the part where all three can agree is between five and six. So the set of all possible values of D is between five and six. Option D. Next 